Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Hawaii Weather Watch. Today is August 9th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see the Hawaiian Islands here. You can see Hurricane Dora. I've been watching this for several days past to the south of the Hawaiian Islands. Look at this very dry air associated with some trade winds moving across the region. Very strong winds associated with that. Low relative humidities. It's allowed that fire to spread across West Maui. And just a caution, that fire danger does exist around the rest of the islands as well. So hopefully we can keep any more fire starts at bay here because this is a very devastating fire here across portions of West Maui. People are fleeing for their lives. Kind of a direct result of this hurricane passing to the south. Very high pressure here north. That ridge that's steering the hurricane here with the low pressure to the south creating a very strong gradient across the Hawaiian Islands. We'll dive into some of these details here in a moment. This is looking at the GOES-18 satellite imagery and we're going to scroll through this. And this is yesterday afternoon and you can see the smoke just erupt there off West Maui and produce huge amounts of smoke as the sun was setting. Now in the over Overnight hours, we could continue to see that fire just burn there across West Maui. Again, dire conditions out there. Much of the town is burned. A lot of people are fleeing for their lives here. So check that out on social media if you want to get more details on that. And this is what's going on. You can see these strong winds in the wake of this hurricane moving by to the south there. So kind of interesting here that you can actually get fire conditions because of the hurricane passing by, strong high pressure to the north and the low pressure to the south, tight gradient, lots of dry air across the region, very intense conditions there. And you can see these red flag warnings exist for all the main Hawaiian islands here. And yeah, West Maui continues to burn as we speak. This is talking about those east winds gust possible to 50 miles per hour. This relative humidity is very low, relatively speaking, there for the Hawaiian islands. And they talk about the impacts that fires will develop and likely spread rapidly. Do not burn outdoors, please, or indoors for that matter. I don't know why you would be on the on the Hawaiian Islands. But anyway, uh, back to the high pressure system here, and you can see that hurricane down here. And without this high pressure in this ridge steering that hurricane and keeping this tropical energy suppressed to the south here and not allowing it to move poleward, that's what develops the system in the first place. And then this strong gradient exists, and that's what's really causing these strong trade winds here across the Hawaiian Islands. Now this is looking at precipitable water and you can see we are looking at those below average conditions here across the Hawaiian Islands. Check it out. Very dry in fact. And you can see Hurricane Dora there, the high pressure system up here. And you can see we're going to remain below average, relatively speaking, for the relative humidity over the next few days all the way in towards the weekend. So you got to keep your, you know, stay on guard here. Do not cause any more fires there across the islands. It's already a devastating enough event across West Maui. This is looking at the 100 meter wind speeds here and just another way to look at it. You can see Hurricane Dora and then you can see the strong trade winds. They are going to relax here as we go on into tomorrow, but they're still going and the low relative humidities mean that any kind of spark out there could start more fires. But you can clearly see we are going to get a downtrend in the wind speed here from today working into tomorrow and on into the weekend. And this is looking at max wind gust here. You can see some of these gusts. This is miles per hour on the higher terrain around the West Maui. Probably got gusts up over 50 miles per hour, leading to that rapid spread here. And watch out for the coastlines on the North Big Island, South Big Island out there, and really any of the Hawaiian Islands for the next couple of days. High fire danger will exist. I've been looking, trying to find some webcams out there, but obviously in Lahaina, the uh, these are probably been destroyed. Honestly, the fire is extreme, and a lot of the town is burned out there. So check it out on social media there. Now you know that. Little bit of the meteorology behind all of this. As you can see, Hurricane Dora now continuing to push off and did not directly impact the islands, but you know, th this is an indirect impact from this hurricane. The strong pressure gradient and the relatively dry trade winds moving across the area are what caused this fire. So interesting stuff there. Hope everybody's all right. You know, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, no more fires start there. And I just want to do this special weather briefing here today. And hopefully things are going to be on the improvement side of things here for the Hawaiian Islands over the next few days. So anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll continue to try to do these additional briefings here when conditions warrant, maybe around the entire planet. Who knows? We'll see how this goes. But yeah, I lived in Hawaii for four years. I worked at Island Air and Hawaiian Airlines down there. This kind of hit home. I have friends that live on Maui out there as well. I visited Maui many times. Got family that live on the big island there as well. So hopefully we can continue to not develop any more fires across the rest of the island here. We can get that stuff put out there in line and help those people out there as well. So anyway, um, yeah, so check out my other videos on California Pacific Northwest. I'll do those videos again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.